In this tutorial, I'm going to talk you through how to install every type of Spitfire Audio library. See the description to skip to the part of the video you need. If you have not done so already, you'll need to download the Spitfire Audio app. You can find this on our website by searching for the app in the search bar. Once you've navigated to the application page, you'll see that there's links to download the Macintosh and Windows version, as well as a brief guide. When you've finished installing the application, simply sign in with the email and password that you used on the Spitfire Audio website when you created your account. When you load the application for the first time, you'll see any products you have, and also you'll see all our labs libraries are available from the labs tab. In downloading, you'll find any products that you're currently installing and in settings, you'll find the application settings. One of the first things you'll want to do is make sure your default content path is set to the correct location. This is where your libraries will install. To set this to an external device, simply click on the bar and then find the external device in your finder or folder window. When you found the hard drive you'd like to use, click open and the app will now save your settings. If you are using an external hard drive, it's important to check that it's correctly formatted for your operating system. If it's not in the right format, see the description on how to reformat hard drives. For libraries that use the dedicated Spitfire plugin, simply click install. For BBC, Symphony Orchestra and Eric Whittaker Choir, you'll also need to install the plugin. Make sure that the plugin and the library contents are installed to the same location to prevent any errors from occurring. From the downloading tab, we can see at how many megabits a second the library is downloading at, as well as having the ability to pause the download. In Logic, you'll find our plugins in AU Instruments, Spitfire Audio where you'll see the full list of labs, originals and other orchestral products. If you have any issues accessing our products, you'll be able to find a detailed manual on each product page on the website. To install an SA Recordings product, simply click Install, check the download location is correct and hit Download. You'll then be taken to the Downloads tab where you'll see your library authorizing, as well as downloading. You should see a good megabits per second, and also you'll have the ability to pause a download at any point in time. Unlike our other Spitfire plugin products, in Logic you'll find SA Recordings libraries in AU Instruments, SA Recordings, where the full list of libraries you've downloaded should be available. When you've selected the library, hit create and the plugin will open straight away. To install a contact player library, simply navigate to the library you wish to install in the app, check your install location and hit install. Once it's authorised, it will prepare the download and begin downloading. When the library has fully downloaded, you'll also need to make sure you've installed the native access app and created a native ID on the Native Instruments website. When you open the application, you'll also need to make sure that you've installed the Contact Player plugin. When you've installed Contact, go to Add a Serial, where you should now type the serial that you were given in your confirmation email. It's also available on your account under Order History. When you've typed in the serial, click Add Serial, and the library will appear in Not Installed. Select Browse, Find the master folder where you installed it and open. Install and the library will now install into contact. For some of our libraries that are available on native access, you'll need to use the locate tool instead. This is found next to install. Click locate, browse again for the master folder, select open and install and the library will automatically install into contact. In Logic, Contact can be found in AU Instruments, Native Instruments, Contact. Click Serio and Create to open the plugin. Once you've opened the plugin, all your libraries should appear in the left hand side library browser. You may find that sometimes your library does not appear. If this is the case, go to Manage Libraries, find the library that you're looking for and make sure the checkbox is ticked next to the library.
To install a Contactful library, you'll first need to purchase Contactful from the Native Instruments website and it can be downloaded via Native Access. Go to the Spitfire Audio app to install your library. Check the install location is correct and click Install. The library will then begin to download via the Downloading tab. In Logic, you'll then be able to find Contactful libraries in AU Instruments, Native Instruments and make sure you open the full version of Contact on your system. Open the Contact plugin and go to the Files tab. Navigate to the location where you installed the library, find the installation on your device and then open the .nki files from there. They'll be in the Instruments folder and you'll be able to drag and drop them or double click to open them in your Contact Player window. You can cancel a download at any time in the Spitfire Audio app by navigating to Settings and then the Use CloudFront CDN setting can be toggled off. This will disconnect you from the server and the download will stop. You can then go back to My Products to install the library at any time that suits you. If you're finding your download is slow, here are our suggestions. Firstly, avoid downloading at busy times. This can be any time from 5pm at night to 11pm and this is where the internet is at its most busiest use. Secondly, make sure that you're not using a virtual proxy network, local area network or antivirus software that may be inhibiting the application's connection to your internet server. Lastly, you can switch between servers by going to the application settings general and toggling CloudFront CDN off. Be warned that this will cancel any current downloads. As always, please contact us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support if you have any further issues with download and install.